They're pulling us up. Hey everybody, welcome back. On the bench is my Astor Porter. If you remember, I'm going back to quite a few videos and um, we got this thing going and uh, with that uh, power supply that I made up <coughs> using the uh, transformer and a couple of batteries. Never mind, it works. That's the important thing. Thing is, I want this to be portable. Um, and um, as you recall, I grabbed 10 9 volt batteries and connected them up in series and yeah, still didn't bloody work. So I've come up with an alternative and I hope this alternative actually works. And let's have a look at what I got. Well, here we are, and it's a voltage booster. And I saw this on, um, somebody actually mentioned to me that uh, yeah, they sell these things, and um, well, I didn't know. And I checked it out, and um, I paid 14 bucks for this. And here's the um, eBay listing that um, for, the, for this particular one anyway. And um, as you can see, cheapest chips. And um, I only took about three weeks to get here. I'm not sure if it came from China, or even though it says it's um, Australian stock. But anyway, anyway, um, what I found funny was the description. And I'll just put that up for you. And as you can see, um, first three items, um, pressure test power, okay. Eradication, hunting of mice. Um, I don't know, get a, a bit of plate metal, electrify it with 400 volts and put some cheese on top, maybe. Um, electromagnetic gun power supply. Shit, build your own rail gun. Okay. Um, might have to do that one day. Um, now the output is between 45 and 390 volts. I'm reading this off a bit of paper, by the way. And the input, it says 8 to 32 volts. But in brackets, default is uh, 10 to 32 volts. So anyway, anyway, I just got this in yesterday and um, we're going to give this a go and hopefully it works. So, oh, brief description of it. Okay, we've got three 10 microfarad capacitors rated at 400 volts. Um, input here. And we have uh, three terminals to the output. Positive uh, voltage is on the far left. Middle is ground. And on the far right, negative voltage out. Cool. 10 amp fuse and a little green lead. And right there, just a little clip, um, a jumper, uh, on off. And also uh, a couple of holes to accept a fan. So, anyway, I'll attach some wires to this. We'll uh, feed it 9 volts and um, see if we get anything out of it. Okay, I've got myself a 9 volt battery. And I've got the negative hooked up. And now we'll just get that positive on there. And I don't know if you can see it, little green LED lights come on. So let's see what sort of voltage we get out of it. 21 millivolt. What about on the negative side? Negative 39, 40 millivolt. Well, that's not good. Um, 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 um. Well, description said default is 10 volts, and oh, that battery, not sure how many volts it's got in it, but let's have a look, 8.8, .8. yeah, almost 9, tell you what, oh, let me grab another battery, I've got a spare one here, let's just join them up in series. We'll try that. That should be giving out about 18 volts. Yep, 18 volts. Okay, let's see if that's enough. All right. Hook that up there. Right, let's see what we get now, if we get anything, otherwise if we get nothing, faulty unit. And just about ready to test, here we go.
Ja. Nej. Äh. 91 volts. You beauty, and I should get negative on the side. Negative 95, a bit of difference. Alright, let's play around with that uh, voltage adjuster. I'll just, um, yeah. See if I can get that probe in there, good. Alright. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to, uh, I don't know which way to turn it. Alright. Turn it clockwise. Uh, voltage is going up. One sixty, and on and on we go, I guess. And I'll bring it back down because I'm I'm more interested in the ninety volts, of course, for the um the plates on the bat on the uh, valves. And look, I'll do that off camera, and I will set this up. And get the and get the uh, radio on the bench, and uh, we'll hook it up and see if it's going to work. <laughs> Hopefully, it does. Okay, I've set myself all up, and um, what have I done? So I brought in my uh, power supply um, just for the 1.5 volts, running off those two D cell batteries, and they're connected. Connected them up to the uh, radio. And it's all a mess of wires down there, as you can see. Um, we're monitoring the um, B plus with uh, this little thing here, and all that's left for me to do now is connect up that uh, negative terminal on the battery to the uh, power to the voltage booster, and see if we get anything. Uh, here we go. That's connected. Lights on on the module. All cool, and well, flick the switch on the radio. <laughs> Shit, it works. And we saw it 90 volts. What's the key? What? Wait, it's terrible sound, And why? On ABC RM. Go through the stations. Jelly around at the moment. What did you want to chat about Mother's Day? Well, I just think that everybody's lost the, what, it, what it's all about. It's yeah. materialistic. It's, you know, don't take it away because they're trying to break up the family. Well, it works, but <laughs> sounds ratty. Um, still, I'm not sure how much noise. Or interference that thing's putting out and don't think it was really made to be that quiet well I'm only guessing but it works um, of course the question is how long will a couple of nine volt batteries last that's the thing don't know um, do an option um, if I can get the sound if I can get it to sound a lot better I'm thinking two six volt lantern batteries uh, they, they're fairly heavy duty, and let's face it, the radio's not going to be used that much anyway. But as long as it works, as long as it works, and um, that's the important thing. Well, so far, so good. I'm going to think about how to mount this in there, and for now, it's a solution. Radio does work, and um, I would have no idea how to clean that sound up. Maybe a capacitor? Um, I, I really don't know. It's a, that's a bit beyond me. But... Um, Anyway, anyway, I'll think about how I'm going to mount um, that module inside the radio there. And I've got plenty of room, that's for sure. So I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, I have not been <laughs> thinking about um, installing this into the uh, radio because I wanted to nut out the um, terrible distortion in the uh, on the voice coming out of the radio. And um, did a bit of searching on the internet and... Um, they said, well, you know, hey, use a capacitor. And I thought, okay, okay, I can try that. And um, being the newbie that I am, of course, I um, thought, well, I'll just grab a, a capacitor and put it in line with the uh, the positive. Um, sorry, yeah, just in series. Sorry, yeah, in, 
in line so the uh, voltage just goes through the capacitor straight into the um, radio and of course that failed dismally um, I tried a poly, I tried an electro all sorts of values, nothing so then I had a brilliant thought a choke that'll help smooth out the um, the ripples or whatever the distortion is and um, turn the volume down a bit no, it's still, still there, but that's without the choke, that's with the choke, and it's a hell of a lot better, but it's still there, now I'll turn that off, um, and, and that's just an old uh, transformer that I've used as a choke, I think it's about 900 ohms, um, of resistance in it and then <clears throat> uh, I had a brainwave and I thought well what if I bridge the positive and the negative output from the module with an electro and I thought well you know can only try and I'm going to bridge it out uh, by the way, this is a solution <laughs> too. Um, so I'll turn the radio on, and I'm just down there where the uh, wires all are. I'm just going to bridge positive and negative, keeping positive to the positive lead, negative to negative, and um, you are actually going to create more I'll turn the sound up. <laughs> And well, here we um, go. You know, loud voice here on ABC. Uh, Omar, thank you. I'll take it off. Oh, uh, so okay. Thank you so much for giving some clarification on that. We've actually also requested a response on. from Ingrid Stitt, the Minister for Environment. It's just sitting there now. Yeah. responsible for this decision, but we're also not to receive a statement. Thank you for joining us. Go wonderful in the New York shops around this place. Ooh. I'm supporting our shops, but we want to make sure that we don't also put enormous stress on them by dropping off stuff that we know is not really usable by another person. I'm a soccer day. That's good. It's a hell of a lot better. I might try some different values of uh, capacitors. I might go up to 24. Um, um, microfarad, I'll even go a bit higher. I'll come back, we'll try. It's coming up to one o'clock after. Okay, I um, found this one. If you remember that um, little uh, stash I, I received of stuff. Um, 100 microfarad at 180 volts. And let's attach it. I'll turn the radio on first. And planning to tackle now I'll rising attach it. inflation. Shadow Treasurer Brad Rosewell says the government's financial decisions over the past Super. nine years Even are to blame for the state's debt. I'll just get it to sit in there. Try to station. Not bad. Let's bypass the choke. Right, don't need a choke now. So, it works. As you can see, there it is just there, sitting in the alligator clips. Um, I've sold it. I'm amazed. Um, and those two little 9 volt batteries, they're, they're still going, they're still pumping out. I've, I brought the voltage down to 79 volts um, for the B+, and um, you know, it's working okay, it's working okay. So I'm going to work out a way to mount that uh, capacitor permanently and get this shit all back in there. Okay, here's the finished result. And I um, started with the battery, and I thought, well, rather than use two, I'll... Um, I'll grab four. I, I discarded the, the um, lantern batteries because um, with the two double uh, two Ds in there, um, there's just not going to be enough room. Plus, that module takes up a bit of space as well. So anyway, four together in series. In series, uh, I'm getting my 18 volts out of that. It's all wired into the switch. Of course, the two D cells here for the 1.5 and. Our module there, and what I decided to do, I had a spare heatsink sitting around, 
So um, I thought, well, I'll add that on too, you know. More heat dissipation, given that's a closed unit, and I don't know how warm it gets in there. But um, the mounting, um, that, that had me going. Um, and I thought, well, I'll build a little enclosure, a little box that I can, you know, put everything in and slide the box in, and uh, that's bloody hard. Uh, <laughs> really, I didn't want to do that. And then it occurred to me, hey, just use Velcro. You know, Velcro is pretty tough stuff. So anyway, as you can see there, a bit of Velcro there. Velcro holding those um, D, uh, D, D batteries in, and of course Velcro there. Um, I decided I was going to put this right up against the base of the chassis, and it sits there quite well. Anyway, I did turn it on for a test, and this is what I got. Hear that? Like motorboating. But, you know, there, there is signal, and I've got stations, and I thought... I thought, what the hell's going on? So, I, um, that's why I took everything out. I thought maybe this power supply here is, is too close to the circuitry and it's causing interference, you know, whatever that, that sound is. Let's call it motivating. Um, but that's not the case. Um, as we were testing it yesterday, um, it was all away from it. So, I'm going to have to have a think about what this is, what's causing it. I, I don't know. Um, the only thing that's different uh, to the test yesterday is, yeah, I added a heat sink. Um, sh surely it's heat sink? Is that going to cause it? I don't know. I'm going to have a think. Um, I'll poke around and uh, try a few things and come back. Hopefully I'll find a solution for this. Well, I found it. Um, what, what I think it is, anyway. Um, I took the other heat sink off. Um, thought, why not put it back to the original condition, turned it back on, and it was still doing it. Um, then I, again, I held the, the heat sink, and it seemed to disappear. So, I thought, hold on, let's earth it. And um, this is the result. Was met by emergency services. See, it wasn't there before. Helicopter with army branding landed safely and no one was injured. The ATS confirmed the helicopter was sold off in 2018 and it's making its way into the way it's flying with its back and markings. Senior Victorian Liberal MPs have sprung to their leader, John Pesuto's defence. And it pretty much disappeared. It's still there, but... MPs. The Herald Sun has reported allegations oh. made by three anonymous Liberal MPs that senior party figures engaged in intimidation and bullying during a heated... I don't know. Um, 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 this is difficult. Um, like I said, we didn't have it yesterday. Well, I'm pretty sure we didn't have it yesterday. I don't recall it, um, and today we do. Um, all the length of the wires, maybe? Oh, surely not. Maybe yes? I don't know. Maybe I'll shorten them up, see if that makes any difference. Well, here's a current update on this. Um, I shortened some wires, I knew that wouldn't do anything, but anyway, makes it easier to pack them in. Um, I actually took the filtering cap, off there and uh, hung it away from it, thinking maybe that's a problem. No, of course it didn't make any difference whatsoever. So I um, did a bit of research and um, found some threads talking about these things, and they produce a lot of RF. Um, so clearly we would have to shield it. Um, and the other thing too, um, that I'll just call it that motorboating, whatever it is. It's just interference, of course. Um, when I grabbed the heat sink and placed it on top of its own heatsink. That put put putting got louder and louder. So, um, yeah, it's radiating a hell of a lot of noise. Now, um, where are we? Well, 
I've come to a complete standstill because the bloody thing died. Um, it was playing okay and then suddenly it just disappeared. So I thought, oh, what the hell's going on? And did a test. We'll do that now. So, beat it some power. It's um, 18 volts. A little LED lights up. And we've got 27, 28 milliamps and rising. So, bummer, bummer. But I also did read some reviews on, um, on that little unit. And um, some people said, yeah, it's great, it's great. And others said, well, mine packed up straight away. Um, well, for me, it was, well, it's got one day's use out of it. So, um, I'm going to get another one, not this particular model. I'll, I'll source another one that's uh, got variable uh, voltage on it. And might spend a bit more than $14. But, hey, proof of concept, it does work. And, um... Pity I couldn't try out the shielding uh, bit, and that might have resolved the problem. But I'm going to continue with this, so I'll just put this all away and uh, order another one, no doubt, from China. And if I'm lucky, um, it'll be here in three months' time. We can continue this project. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, what a bummer, but never mind. So I'll catch you all soon. Take care. Bye. <coughs>